But we're also celebrating Western New York tonight with a little bit of normalcy. For the first time in two years, UB has no COVID restrictions, and that is being welcomed by those finally getting their degrees this year, as we hear tonight from Tunia Sides' Danielle Church. To say these UB graduates are ecstatic about the return of a traditional commencement. I'm extremely happy to be here, and I'm very happy that the, everything is in person, no masks would be an understatement. But to be honest, I did never got my, you know, bachelor's or graduation when I was completing my bachelor's. Now I'm getting it, so it means a lot. UB School of Engineering and Applied Sciences was among the many to hold graduation ceremonies today, where they also presented an award to New York State Assembly Majority Leader Crystal Peoples Stokes. Other schools within the university will receive their degrees over the weekend all of them beginning with a moment of silence. I would like us all to pause and remember the 10 lives lost, including class of 1981, UB alumna Pearl Young. We were very scared. We were very sad for the victims. Starting this, we were a little scared, but we got our support from our university. Uh, we, we are having our exams, but uh, to travel from South Campus to here, it is a little difficult. Though last Saturday's tragedy has rocked the community and a pandemic has impacted much of the time these graduates have spent here, today they get to smile for all their hard work finally paying off. Commencement is always an exciting time on the campus, with the family, with the, with the students, with, with the whole community here. Hilbert College students also graduated today and Buff State is graduating this weekend. Most other colleges and universities in Western New York already graduated. And of course, congrats to the class of 2022. Reporting from UB, Danielle Church, Channel 2 News.